to get your rosters from eSchool into ExamView for the new eSchool 3.0. It's going to be a slightly different process. We're going to start up here at Gradebook and select Entry. For this to appear the way it needs to, you should have at least one grade in each of the gradebooks that you're going to be working from. We're going to go over here to the right under Action, click on that, and select View Printable. In the pop-up window, you're only going to check Roster Only. And what this is going to do is generate a report that has the names and the IDs, and that is all. And then select Run. You will see in the pop-up window that your report was generated, but we need it to be in Excel. So up here in the right-hand corner, you're going to click on the Excel symbol and export it to Excel. And it will say that it did. But you can't see anything because we need to go to another screen. So hit Close on this. Go back to your Home button at the top. And then scroll down to the bottom where you'll see all of your reports. If you have a lot of reports in here, this could make it a little bit harder to view. I'm going to go to the bottom because they're my last couple reports I've done. Now I've done this a few times, so you'll, you'll see the same report showing up three times. Here it says Excel, XLS at the end, XLS, and XLS at the end. Those are the same reports I've done a few times as I've made this video. Underneath that, you'll see the same file name, but this time it doesn't have XLS at the end. Those are PDF files, and those are not the ones we want. So I'm going to go up at the top, and I'm going to grab the XLL, XLS file that I want. And you can see that it's the same file. It's got the same um, section number. That section number will indicate which period it is. So I'm going to click on this. And it's going to ask me, do you want to open it or save it? And I'm just going to go ahead and open it because we need to modify the file a little bit to get started. Now, this pop-up window says, are you sure you want to open this? We're not sure about the source. Go ahead and say yes. If you don't see this pop-up right away, it may be that it's behind your current window. I've had that happen to me a couple times as I've been going through this process. But I'm just going to say yes for now. So at the top, you can see that I've got some course information, and then it starts with all of my IDs and my student name. We need to get rid of lines 1 through 6. The way you do this in Excel is notice as I move my mouse around, it's a plus, and then it's an arrow, and then it's a different plus with some arrows. It's very important that when we grab these lines that your mouse cursor looks like this arrow. So I'm going to select 1 click and hold down and go all the way through six so that those entire rows are highlighted. Now somewhere in that same area, I'm going to kind of go up around three again, and I'm going to right click and select delete. And that's how I get rid of those six rows. Now this is the file I want, but I need to save it a special way. The exam view program will not accept an XLS fi file extension, it will only accept a CSV. So we're going to go to File, and then we're going to go to Save As, and it's going to ask us in a second here, where do we want to save it, and what file extension do we want. And this was period 1A, so I'm going to call it file name 1A, and then in this drop-down menu, it says X Excel Workbook, drop down that, and scroll until you see CSV, comma, delimited, dot CSV, and that is the one we need. It will populate this square, and it will change the file name. I throw these onto my desktop, so over on the left, I'll select Desktop and because it's a throwaway file in a couple minutes, and then click Save. Now it's not going to like this, and it says, do you sure you want to keep this in this format? And I'm going to say yes. Then I'm going to close this program off, and it's going to say, do you want to save your changes? Well, I just did. It's just trying to make sure I really mean it, and this time I'm going to say don't save, or else it's going to keep the program open a little bit. Now I'm going to minimize this for a second, 
and you can see that on my desktop I do have this file 1a.csv and that's the file I'm going to use now to get into exam view. So in my start menu I'm going to open up my test manager. Now mine appears right here in my list. If yours doesn't just type exam view in this search box down here and then it will eventually pop up. But I'm going to go to test manager and open that you can click this box and turn it off. I am starting a new class, so click on that. The class name is 1A or whatever you want to call it. And then if these boxes aren't filled in, you simply need to fill in the instructor name, the school name, the city, and the state. Those are the only five boxes that must be completed. And then click OK. File, Import, class roster from text. It'll take a second for it to open up. I am going to go to my desktop on the right uh, the left hand side because that's where I put my file. Scroll down a little bit. Notice that not everything on my desktop shows up. Only files or folders that things might work. So I'm going to select 1A CSV and say open. Now, this import utility is going to be different than last year's, so I want you for your first time through to start with start a new import definition. Um, after you've made your new, pour, new import definition for this year, you can select it from the list. I named this year's number two, so I could select this, but I'm going to walk you through all the steps and stay okay. On this screen, it says, where do you want to start importing? I want to start importing at line two because that's where my first student name is. Uh, down here at the bottom pick the third bubble full name in a single field and click next. Grab the student ID and drag and drop it next to student ID. Grab the student name drag and drop it next to the student name and click next and then finished. Now it says, do you want to save this? The first time through, you want to say yes. And again, I'm going to call this import three now because it's my third try. And I'm going to hit save. The next time you go through that, you can simply select whatever that name was and it will put the number two in and it'll pick the third bubble on that screen. So here's all my kids in exam view. Now I'm going to go file, save as, and you always want to save these in your H drive, in your exam view folder, in your class folder. Now you can see I've got some in here from last year. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder and I'm going to call this folder 2014, 2015, oops, 2014, 15 for this school year. So I can keep track of them from year to year. And again, I'm going to call it class 1A and hit save. That's the first one. You will repeat that process for each one of your classes. Good luck.